Hey folks, thanks for joining us today. Today we're making our all natural indigo colored soap and this is called Haven't the Foggiest. You can see that I've infused some indigo into this oil. It's a different color than the original olive oil, but it kind of sinks to the bottom a bit, so I'm kind of scraping it out. <laughs> You can see I've got my tiny bit of infused oil. It doesn't actually add that much color to the soap. I'm gonna be adding most of the indigo to the lye solution. I'll add the rest of the olive oil, just regular olive oil, and then I'll add our sweet almond oil, our castor oil, our coconut oil and cocoa butter, which have to be melted. This is a reboot of Haven't the Foggiest. We used to make it in straight layers and then I thought about it and I said to myself, fog is not in straight layers. <laughs> so we're gonna make it a little foggier looking. You can see that the soap oils are quite green right now. They won't be so green in the final soap. Now it's time for our hard oils. So the coconut oil, which is from Baraka. You can click the eye above to see a little bit more in depth about our sourcing from Baraka in our video about the lemon lavender soap, but they're a really great company. And we also source the cocoa butter from them. I like to melt the cocoa butter and coconut oil together because I find that the coconut oil helps to melt the coconut butter. Here's a time lapse of me stirring the cocoa butter furiously in the little pitcher. You can see at the beginning, the little lump that I hold up for the camera is quite large. And in the second demonstration, shall we say, you can see that the largest lump I can find is quite a bit smaller. So it does take a little bit of time, but it's better in my eyes than having a really hot batch of soap that's going to accelerate really quickly. It looks like the oils are melted, so we're going to add them to our liquid oils. So this soap has four different colors and we're going to just weigh an empty bowl that's identical so we know how much oil there is. And then we're gonna split off a quarter of it into the bucket at a time. You can see the lye solution is very dark. That's because I've mixed my indigo into it. And this is actually the darkest layer or color. <laughs> I add a bit of kaolin clay for extra clarifying properties. They help to remove oils from the skin. And then I blend it. Now that I'm happy with the thickness of the soap, I'm not wanting it too, too thick because we do want it to kind of muddle a bit. I'm gonna dump the soap into the mold. Now it's time to start the second layer and I go through the exact same process four different times. So I'm gonna speed through this. I add the lye solution and each solution of lye water has a little bit less indigo powder in it. So it's going to almost create a gradient so instead of having flat layers in this version, we're having sort of a swirly bottom and then a layer that looks a little bit more like clouds above.
And the top layer I only color with the tiny bit of indigo that is in the olive oil that I infused before. That makes it pretty much white. It's just sort of an off-white color. You can see the lye solution is clear this time. I do mound the soap slightly off of camera just because it took a little bit of wrangling. I did cover the soap and force it to gel. That meant that the next morning I had a really nice hard loaf of soap and this is what it looks like. I'm tickled pink with how this turned out. It looks cloudy, it looks swirly, it looks basically like a storm and that's really the kind of aesthetic that I was going for and I'm super excited. This soap is totally unscented, really the beauty is in its coloring. This restock is gonna be available in time for our release in February. So on the 3rd of February, we'll be dropping our next release and we're super excited to share it with you. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this in the future, please subscribe, it really helps us out and we look forward to seeing you then.